Main reason for the video is the instructions absolutely suck and be a little intimidating. It's not rocket science to set one of these things up. It asks for and calls for what's called a C wire. Chances are you already have a C wire in your current thermostat that is not connected to anything, just an extra wire. And I'll show you how to plug that up both on the thermostat. C wire actually just gives extra power to this to make it work. And Anyway, hopefully this makes make it easier for somebody to install one of these, not be intimidated by it because it's, again, it's not rock, rocket science. You just have to use common sense, you know, turn the power off when you're working with something with power and that kind of stuff. So I'll walk you through it. Hopefully this helps somebody. Thanks. Bye. This is our current thermostat upstairs. I'm sure many people have them on, off, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, first thing you got to do, take the face plate off and then you'll see a couple of screws in there. Those are mounting it to the wall, unscrew those, take this off. Before I start unscrewing it, one good thing to do is take a picture of that wire bundle on your thermostat before you take it off. This one you can see has a jumper on it, and uh, it shows you where the white is, the red is, blue, which in this case is connected to yellow, green. Always important, take a picture before you take this off or undo any of these things. Okay, I've taken the screws out. Now I'm going to pull it away from the wall. Now here's the thing that you want to look at. Do you have an extra wire hanging out there? In this case, the bundle was like five wires that came in uh, when they were installing this, and there's an extra wire. This extra wire we're going to use as the C wire. It's not connected to anything upstairs where our uh, furnace is. This will give it extra power for your new Lyric. If you don't have one of these, then you have to, it's a, it's a whole different step. You actually have to go out, buy a, a different wire and run it through the wall and it gets real complicated. But in my case, I already had it in there. If I didn't, then I'd probably just return the lyric because it wouldn't be worth my time to goof around with it. I'm upstairs in our attic and that's the controller for downstairs, the furnace, heat, whatever you want to call it. And here's the one for upstairs. I've already taken the uh, sides off. And now I'm looking for a yellow wire. You'll see a big glob of wires down here. Now, this one's not connected to absolutely anything, so I know this, and you can see all the other wires coming off, so I know this is the one that goes to the thermostat downstairs that, again, wasn't connected. So then what I will do is I will get down here, and do you see the little C right here on the end? So C above it? I'll connect this yellow wire to that. Now we'll also make sure that I turn the power off to the unit so I don't get the shit shocked out of me. Done. I'm back downstairs and took the old thermostat off. See all the wires here? Now there's a shadow on the wall, so... Anyway, the yellow one wasn't connected to anything, so we connected that upstairs um, to the... that's the C wire. And then the rest of these wires, remember the blue is actually connected to the yellow slot. That's why it's important to take a picture of what it was connected to before, so that way when you go into the after, you can refer back to it. All right, everything is all plugged up. Cover's back on. Now I will have to go back and, you know, take this out, back to the wall, because the new unit is a lot smaller. I also went upstairs and I turned the power on to the whole thing again. So now, We'll see what happens. Goes into the setup, it's gonna ask me for my uh, Wi-Fi password and stuff like that. Then it'll connect and then uh, should work fine. I made a small mistake with that last video. It doesn't actually ask you for the setup on this, it asks you for the setup on your cell phone when you're using the app. Um, also, you can go to uh, the home button, there's a uh, I'll have to show you what that app is. Anyway, and that connects to Siri. It's called the HomeKit, Apple HomeKit. Then you can just hold your button down and say, hey, you know, turn the air conditioning on upstairs to whatever, and it'll set it. The only thing I have to do here is the new thermostat is a lot smaller than the old one. So I'll have to take this stuff out, um, spackle, paint, and then boom, brand new. Nice looking unit. Um, does absolutely everything. You can set the schedule for it, screen locks, uh, set your Wi-Fi up. Now, on your Wi-Fi, if you already have the app on your phone, then you've already done that. You don't. It won't ask you any. It won't ask you to do it again. Um, brightness, recovery mode, clock, 
clean screen temperature scale. You can set it to um, uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius, whatever. Anyway, very nice. So it works great, piece of cake, easy to install. Anyway, I hope that video helped you out. How to install the T5, Lyric T5 Wi-Fi thermostat by Honeywell. Um, works great, real easy. Have a good day. Main reason for the video is the instructions absolutely suck and be a little intimidating. It's not rocket science to set one of these things up. It asks for and calls for what's called a C wire. Chances are you already have a C wire in your current thermostat that is not connected to anything, just an extra wire. And I'll show you how to plug that up both on the thermostat. C wire actually just gives extra power to this to make it work. And Anyway, hopefully this makes make it easier for somebody to install one of these, not be intimidated by it.